Hey everybody, Tom Joya from Visionary Music Group here. Today I'm working on Anatomy of a Mix number three. The song is I Remember by Drive By Angels. Today is part six. We're going over all our keyboards. We had a bunch of processing, a bunch of natural sounding keyboards. So I'm going to break that all down for you in real time today and explain how we do it. Please leave your questions and comments below. I'll try to get back to you. And we'd really appreciate if you subscribed to the channel and gave us a thumbs up if you dug the video. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so we can let you know when more videos are available. Enjoy. So we left off last time we completed importing all our session data, moving everything around to its appropriate place, cleaning up a little bit, and then working on our drums, percussion and loops, acoustic guitars, and bass. So let's take a look at keyboards. So here in yellow are my keyboards. I've assigned them to their appropriate submaster outputs. AP for acoustic piano, EP for electric piano, and pads for the soft pad patch. We're going to take a listen in the chorus. We have some processing here, so we're going to double check all. Okay, while we're listening to it solid, I'm not sure about the limiter. Everything else seemed cool. Let's see what we have in context. Okay, cool, that sounds good for now. We're gonna make an active delimiter. Let's see what this EP is doing. Okay, so moving on to the electric piano. This was pretty treated, so I'm gonna bypass everything in here and let you hear it the way it came in. So we added the Pro-Q2, probably to take out a bunch of low end. Let's hear that. Now we'll take it out. That was definitely done to save that low note. You know, we had that left hand, the lowest note was probably clashing with the bass. I'll put in everything in this effects rack. Sound toy stuff is awesome. I don't think I could do a mix without it. So what we have in there here is a decapitator for some saturation, tremulator for some width, and we have the Echo Boy Jr. for some ping pong delay and a micro shift for modulation. So I'll play it out and then in. Now pop it in. So 
So I'm going to take out each element that made up this little rack and let you hear that as we go. Now we're going to add the decapitator. Next, tremulator in. Next up, Echo Boy Jr. And Micro Shift. Then we have this Sonics compressor out. Now in. Let's do the keyboards in context and we'll find a balance for this. So what I did there was I boosted up some more mid-range and compressed it a little more so I heard all the echo repeats. Here's a filter bank that obviously is set up for like a telephone kind of EQ with a uh, bypass. That's automated, so that'll pop on sometime later. Let's move on to the soft pad. Let's leave this in and then bypass it. Now it's in. Bypass. In. So what I was doing there was I was adjusting Pro-Q2 so that they kind of sit in, in an order harmonically. So I wanted the soft pad to be a bit under 
the electric piano and the electric piano to have this upper mid range. So I cut some of this, which is about there and a little above where I boosted uh, the, the electric piano. Let's go up to our aux subs and see what kind of effects we have on these. So we have a room dialed in on all of them, except the pad has the Abbey Road. So let's check that out and see if they're all engaged. They may not have been made active yet. So this is our room reverb that we had in the session. Let's see if it's still we still like it. This is a simulation of the cello studio's room. So to recap what we did with our keyboards today, we had three keyboard parts. Some of them had processing on them from the tracking session. And the processing was important because that helped it fit into the track and supply the mood. So we took a look at all the processing that was there and tried to improve it if we could. If not, we left it the way it was because it was working. And we took our keyboards one at a time, took care of any extraneous high and low frequencies, filtered out harsh parts, and then we balanced the first keyboard, the acoustic piano, to the track. Then we listened in solo to our second track, which is more processed, electric piano. We worked on that. Then we balanced that to the acoustic piano, then checked that against the entire track. And the same thing with our third part, which is a treated pad. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know. Thanks. We look forward to seeing you on the next one.